We just wrapped the anchor again. <laughs> We're back at Cambridge Key in the spot we've anchored at, gosh, probably six or eight nights uh, before. Fortunately, the tide here isn't running as fast as it was in Fort Pierce that first night anchored out, so it wasn't bad. sailing south. It's a really calm, nice day. Could use a touch more wind, but it's nice sailing for sure. And uh, it's getting hot though, so I'm gonna jump in for a little swim. We're sailing from Highborn Key, which we left this morning, over to Cambridge Key, which we've been to several times. We like that anchorage a lot. We're trying to make it uh, as far south as we can before some high winds come in for a few days. So we're just sailing as far as we can today and tomorrow and hopefully we'll get uh, somewhere good. <laughs> I don't know. Wind, wind just picked wind's up. Wind's picked up a little bit. I'm going for a faster swim than I thought, I guess. Maybe I'll wait just a minute. We're doing over five knots now. That gets a little harder tug on the rope. Ah, oh, nice. No, not cold. It's just like sit by the pool. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> I feel so good. This is great. Point two. You slowed us down. I did. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm just a big sea anchor. <laughs> ah, it feels so nice. Yeah, that's a good dip. That water is warm. It feels like it's pushing 80 degrees. Come on. Every time you don't put your legs in, a berry dies. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> That's a reach. Oh, I got it wet. <laughs> You're killing fairies right now. They're dying. <laughs> How's that? Okay. How was it? It was good. Yeah. It's so fun, huh? Yeah, just because the water was warm. It's usually not warm. As we approached Cambridge Key, the winds picked up on our port quarter. With the sheltered waters on the island's leeward side and a strong wind pushing us, we had some of the best sailing conditions we have ever seen. It was so much fun that I just couldn't resist hand steering the rest of the way into Cambridge Key. We just wrapped the anchor again. We're back at Cambridge Key in the spot we've anchored at, gosh, probably six or eight nights uh, before. But the, uh, the wind is more opposed to the current rather than cross the current. And it was just enough, even with the kellet uh, weight on the anchor road, that we wrapped the anchor around the keel again twice actually in the last 15 minutes. So we put out a stern anchor. Fortunately, the tide here isn't running as fast as it was in Fort Pierce that first night anchored out, so it wasn't bad. We were able to just pull it off from, from the bow. But uh, we started up the motor, backed upstream just a little bit, and threw out a stern anchor. Now we're sitting pretty good. So this is something I've actually wanted to try before, and I've just never really had the excuse to do it. So now we got a stern anchor upstream, and a bow anchor downstream and uh, the wind kind of hit this from the quarter here, but it's sitting pretty darn smooth, so we're pretty happy about it. 
Hopefully, no more surprises tonight. <laughs> the twin anchors had us bow and stern into the reversing tides without any further excitement, and we were able to get a good sleep the remainder of the night. Filling the day's water rations. Just kidding, we don't actually ration water. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes we accidentally ration water because we're too lazy to refill our water bottles. We need to make more water today too. This is our last freshwater drinking jug and we got about five gallons in the tank is all. So it's time to crank up the water maker and make some more for sure. We're just getting ready to cast off from Cambridge Key here and head further south. We got some heavy wind coming in, forecasted to be over 20 knots uh, starting after today. So we're going to try and get as far as we can today and then hunker down for about three days and wait it out. We're going to see if we can get down to Great Guana Key. It's a really nice spot and hopefully... Uh, Hopefully we'll make it that far. The winds yesterday were a little bit on and off, so we didn't get as far as we thought. But we're going to head down that direction. We can always duck in at Big Majors if we want and stand off there for a few days. Oh, this is heavy. Yeah. We've been cruising today. We made it down to Great Guana Key from Cambridge Key in just four hours, I think. And we've been doing six and a half knots pretty much the entire way. So it's been probably our fastest day sailing ever. And we're just getting ready to come in. We're gonna be here for a few days waiting out some 20 mile an hour winds. And it looks like we got a, a little bit of company here at the marina, which is just fine for us. Not the marina, just the anchorage. We're just at an anchorage, not a marina. We're about halfway down the key in, oh man, I don't even know where it is. I can't remember its name either. We'll show it on the map. We'll show it on the map. It's a nice little spot. We've got a couple of big power yachts there. It looks like at least one sailboat. Go. We're official. <laughs> yeah, we're like three months into the trip and now you just said to put the flag up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was getting to it. Just just didn't uh, didn't happen right away. But there it is. Dry end a bit. Oh gosh, I cracked myself up. We're making a little fried rice for dinner and some Asian noodles. It's gonna be really tasty. It's just gonna be a vegetarian fried rice. We don't have any meat to go in there. But that's okay. It's better than bilge fried rice, which is nothing fresh. This is a great anchorage for protection from an easterly wind. We anchored here a couple of weeks ago so we knew we had good holding and lots of wind this wind. Not to mention great beaches and as always beautiful clear water.
That right. water's nice. It's definitely warmed up a few degrees in the last week. I tried filming you until I couldn't see you anymore. Oh yeah? They're out there by the beach. Yeah. <sighs>